What's up, YouTube? This the King said he said, man, and I'm back with another post. And um, this one is about the Trayvon Martin case, the trial thus far, man. I, I really don't want to comment on it because the case ain't done, and it's just a sensitive thing for me. But this fuck nigga Tommy Sotomayor done made a video, man, riding this wave, bruh. And it's for, and I feel like it's for the wrong fucking reason, bruh. Like, if you ain't got nothing that's beneficial to say for Trayvon, don't make no video saying nothing. You feel me? I don't want to hear all this thug shit. That shit I heard yesterday, man, with uh the white lawyer, Marco Mera, or whatever the fuck his name is. Look like he ain't got not one black friend. He uh he was saying that uh the weed in Trayvon's system was gonna be a, a play a factor in court and they also made a statement that weed makes uh black men aggressive or people aggressive, whatever the fuck they was trying to say. And that's just a blatant lie. You feel me? Weed makes you happy and hungry and sleepy. We don't make you want to fight nobody. That's why I had they can't lock up. That's why they having problems locking up half the niggas. Cause they smoking weed and get money all day. They can't catch them doing nothing. You feel me? So that's just what's happening, man. And, um, like I'm tired of that fuck nigga Tommy Sotomayor, bro. Like you was kind of cool. You was cool at first, but then you just you just you just ain't a cool motherfucker. Like period. You just that motherfucker that's that's just not cool. When somebody asks about you, you be like, nah, that nigga he ain't cool. You feel me? Um, all that soft shoeing and, and cooning he doing. Uh, he he always crying selective outrage, saying that black people kill black people every day. What the fuck that got to do with a white man that's here to kill black people, killing a black man, a young black man that was unarmed? You feel me? That ain't got nothing to do with fucking nothing. Why would you even fucking say that, bro? So like, I'm sick of the Tommy Sotomayor nigga. I'm doing away with him. He can have his big ass fan base, his platform, because anybody that got a fan base and a platform like that is usually a fake fuck nigga anyway. And the real nigga get the less views. You feel me? But it's not about the views with me. It's about speaking from the heart, keeping it a hundred. You feel me? Trayvon ain't no motherfucking thug. Thugs don't buy Skittles and, and, and tall tees at the damn store. You feel me? If he was walking through a place where that white man thought he shouldn't have been, that obviously he lives somewhere over there because where I'm from, black people don't hang out in, in the rich areas like that. That's Florida. Florida is a rich state and got a lot of uh, rich real estate. And them white people feel entitled and empowered. You feel me? And um, I just don't appreciate it, bro. So all y'all that don't feel sorry for Trayvon Martin, leave your comment at the bottom and, and I'm going to speak for Trayvon Martin. You feel me? Since my black ass could be killed walking through the wrong places. Like I was when I was younger, living on the east side when my mama had the government taking care of me. We was living on the east side and, and became friends with some white folks. I didn't know they was going to turn on me one day and back me down the street. You feel me? And uh, attempt to fucking lynch me. You feel me? So... That's just what it is, man. Uh, that Tommy Sotomayor video got me hot. I'm waiting on the fuck nigga to erase me. I ain't on my feelings, so I'm not even going to erase you. Since you be sending me them abrasive-ass messages, you unsubscribe me. Fuck, boy. You an agent provocateur. You somebody that's paid and probably not even paid nickels and dimes or whatever the arrangement is to talk about the subject that you talk about, black women. That's what you are, agent provocateur, just like Farrakhan. Agent provocateur, somebody that's paid to talk about white people. Then turn around and merge the nation of Islam with the church of Scientology, the church of cult. Selling people off and shit because you in debt and can't, and can't get what you need. You feel me? But and for the fuck niggas that got something to say to me about Farrakhan, somebody left me a fuck, a fuck message talking about I don't need to be talking about Farrakhan. Yes, I do. If he didn't sold the nation of Islam or merged them with the Scientology, which is that's what he did. But anyways, not to get off the subject, I'm just firing off and I'm ranting off because I'm tired as fuck shit. And this is about to be my job from now on. And I'm about to take Tommy's motherfucking spot. I want that number one spot on the motherfucking internet. This is my job from now on. Period. I'm the king. Said he said, see motherfucking Douglas. You ain't got no dirt on me. You ain't got no dirt on Trayvon. Wait till they get finished with the trial. 
You feel me? And I told y'all prior, uh, 10 videos ago, matter of fact, that probably was last year, that the Secret Society was going to have all 10 fingers in this case. That white boy, he's mixed with a Hispanic, but he's a white boy. He's a fat faced fuck white boy. You feel me? And his dad is a Jew, a Akinshanzi, Akinashi, Akinshanzi, however you pronounce it, Jew. And he's a, a court, he's a court judge. So Bax is going to get rubbed, like I said in the first video. So I ain't gonna really go in because I'm gonna make a video after the verdict. But I'm just wanna make this video right now. You feel me? Just to air out and just to vent, man. I want y'all to leave y'all comment at the bottom because they paint him as a thug. I keep seeing it across the news. It could have been me. I'm dark. I deal with discrimination every day. These white folks don't like my black ass. They don't like all this melanin. melanin. They don't like this cocoa shit. Even though my daddy ain't nothing but a mixed nigga. And, uh, and lucky, uh, luckily I'm this dark because it's tan summer. I want to be a little bit darker so these motherfuckers can't tell that I got some cracker in me three and four times removed. Who the fuck y'all think y'all fooling? Well, you think niggas can't see that? So, anyways, leave your comment at the bottom, man. I want to know what y'all think. And uh, anybody that don't feel sorry for Trayvon Martin, keep your feelings in your motherfucking heart. Nigga, because cause I do. You feel me? If that, if that white man would have been raised, that fat white uh, punk would have been raised any kind of way, he should have went. He should have beat the nigga up if you felt like that. But you couldn't beat the nigga up. You had a gun. You feel me? Punk ass gun. So, that's what's up, man. I'm coming for that number one motherfucking spot. You feel me? I got my motherfucking Pellegrino. Young Lavis was talking that shit. You feel me? And, uh, I mean, he, he was in the Fairmont, bro. I seen the videos. He was at the Fairmont. The Fairmont is a five star hotel, and they got a location in Monaco. So, you know what I'm saying? You niggas gonna, you peasants gonna have to get your money up. Tommy Sotomayor, a peasant, he gotta get his money up. Trying to get his money up with them dull ass, mundane ass subjects. You feel me? Your fan base is jaded. They all coming to me to see what I'm talking about. And that's just what it is, bruh. So, I'm the boy said he said, leave your messages. I ain't gonna, I mean, leave your comment. I ain't gonna make this too fancy. And, um, that's what it is, bruh. Run it.